Hi everyone, it's Jerry Ann with Scrap and Stamp Creations.blogspot.com, and I'd like to thank you all for coming this evening as we hang out and work on a two page layout. This layout is um, inspired by Vicki Warsrick, who is a, a fellow uh, Close to My Heart consultant using a couple of the different elements from the um, art philosophy cartridge. So this is the Valentine layout. We're going to work on a Cub Scout layout tonight um, and basically use the same kind of techniques for our Pinewood Derby. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and use um, my base is going to be uh, vanilla cream and cardstock, two sheets. I also have a sheet of Cub Scout paper from K and Company. Nope, this is not. It's from It Takes Two. From It Takes Two.com. And it's a Cub Scout paper. And then a Pinewood Derby car sheet. And this one is from K and Company. It's called BSA Cub Scout Pinewood Cars Flat Paper. And then there's a couple of pieces here. I think I'm going to cut these parts out. Um, Pinewood Derby Grand Prix. And um, this again is from Kay and Company. And then I have this striped piece of paper as well. I will be making a kit um, or something similar. Um, and this is the stripe. But this paper is easily available. Um, in Joann's and stuff, you can always find, um, this one is one of the big Cub Scout packs. It's from the, um, it's the Boy Scouts of America pack. It's got a lot of fun little things in them. However, if you look around as well and look at your local Boy Scout group, they normally have a Cub Scout paper pack just like this one. I had a friend who handed off a few different pieces of paper and things for me, so I was very excited about that. So, I also purchased um, some Valentines that are um, using the different car designs and everything. So, there'll be um, some different cars that we'll put in on our layout as well, kind of as the building piece. And then you can do the race day. So this will be more of the race day one. We'll probably do a second layout as well. All right. Are you guys ready to get started? You're done doing it? You want to be done doing what? No, the ladies will be sad if I'm done with my show. Later. <laughs> what are you finishing, Harrison? You're making a scene? All right, out of this Cub Scout paper, I'm going to go ahead and cut at five inches. And then that leaves this one at seven inches. All right, and these pieces here, oh, let's see. Do I need to cut these down? Or did I, or is this not a true 12 by 12 paper? I help you when you're doing a show? Can you help me when I'm doing a show? We're no doing it together. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> did everybody say Harrison, hello to me? Yes, they did say hello to you. Because you are silly. No, I'm going to help you with that. Are you you are going to help me with this, huh? Yes, but I'm going to do it in the other. You're going to do what? Could I help you? Would I help you do that when you're doing the show or your show is just for one person? My show is for me. Could I help you with something? What do you want to help with? I want to help 
Wait, is there a step for me to do? I don't know. I, we got the postcard in the mail, um, Martha. Harrison got a card on Saturday. About Colorado? Yep, about Colorado. <laughs> he was so excited. I don't know. What does it say? He's so silly. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and take um, we're going to do an inch and a half on our stripes. Yeah, he really liked it. So that's awesome. All right. And then um, I am going to use one set of these cars, which is at two and a half inches, just about on each side. All right. We also need to have photo spots. Let me grab a piece of paper or two. What well, talks about what? How many people could be in the show? I don't know how many people. You. Hundreds. Mom, who are on your stream? I don't know um, who are on my stream. Crap, dab a do. Yeah. From Christy. My friend Christy. Lives in Spokane, Washington. Yep, she does. All right, the photo sizes are two four by sixes and two four by fours. Mom, you have some friends that are scrapbookers. I do. Has that boo been in our house or he just? Nope, I don't think he has. Because he never, because we did not, he was a stranger before. Yeah. Martha saw the pictures of you playing basketball and she said it looked like fun. Did he like them? <laughs> Yes, yeah, she liked Did them. see a picture with me helping my coach? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Mom, I need more for next time. What's on your back? Okay. What do you need to know? I don't know. What do I need to know? Yeah. All right. What I want to grab right now is I want to unload my flags. See, if you want to save this, you can use this as a mat for Christine's um, things when she did the, the black and white stuff. So I have all these little flags, and it's two-sided paper with lots of different colors and things on the other side and dots and, and stuff. So I picked a pretty decent um, piece of paper that would work well with this. So now I'm just pulling these up. Yeah, it was a fit to page kind of thing. 
So I figured if I was going to do this and I was going to have a couple of kits, I was going to have enough flags to be able to do it. So. <clears throat> just wanted some flags. Figured I might as well just go ahead and do a bunch. Yeah. Well, in my case, I just kind of throw them in a pile. Sometimes I use them when I'm in a mood where everything seems to have a flag or something on it. But I didn't know exactly how many I was going to need for the layout. That's the other thing is that I don't know if I was going to need like 20 or something like that. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get this stuff tacked down. <clears throat> you know, um, I haven't decided yet. I might find some stickers or something to do Pinewood Derby Race or that kind of thing. But really, at this point, I was just kind of, um, I don't know yet. We'll see. I might, I have some baker's twine. Depends on what the layout ends up looking like. All right. All right. Oh, it's sitting up here. It's just big. It's just big. Right. 
Oh, you know, I just haven't, um, I am, I just still haven't gotten in the hang of using it all the time. So, And these are just Valentine's that I got at Target that I thought were really, really cute and would work great for a Pinewood Derby layout. Right. Yeah. Well, plus I figured that the um the photos are just going to be that size. So I wanted this one to stand out a little. Oh, fun. She is not trouble. Too much fun. All right, well, let's get the, te the flags in because that's the next kind of piece. And um, what I figured out was... If you come down about three inches to start your flag, um, it gives you a nice little piece that kind of comes up. Uh. <laughs> yep, you did. You stole it last week. <laughs> Color on top of what, Harrison? Sure. Bring it here. Oh, I will. Are you doing another scratch? Are you coloring, Harrison? Christine would like to see it if you are. Who would like to see the same? My friend Christine. 
So here, did she, did she show you how to make the thing? She did. Yeah. She showed us how to do it. Do it on your stream. Did you watch? You know what? I'm going to have to do some other flags. I think I'm going to bring this this way. What are you doing? Are you showing her? Okay, Christine, here's our scene. Okay, here, Christine, here's your scene. Here's the scene that we made. Come here. Where's the one we made before? Here's our start. I made it. Yeah. You got to get some more black on top, huh? Mm. Hold on. And if I do it with this, this thing right here. No, you can't use a Sharpie. Use a... Here's another one. He failed on the... <laughs> Oh, here's the one. Here you go, Harrison. And now I have black Crayola markers everywhere. All right. I will. He ran upstairs. Not sure why. Just know that he did. So I'm just adding these little things. Yeah, he went to find a black Sharpie after I told him no, he couldn't have it. Yep. It's so funny. All right, let's get this one going. Crayons. He is using crayons. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. 
All right. I'm using quite a few of these little guys. Yep. <laughs> I might. But I love the way it looks. All right. <laughs> it's the design part that's fun. Okay. Uh, okay, what? Okay, uh, what am I doing on the 8th? I don't know. What are you doing on the 8th? You're, do you have to go to the auction on the 8th? I am going to the auction on the 8th. What are you doing on the 8th? During the auction, I'm going to Kara. Okay. Did you call her? I did not call her. Are you going to call her? No. No? I'm going to text. You're going to text her. Okay. Or I can write on Facebook. Or you could Facebook her. I love it. Facebook. How do you use Facebook? You would have to use your iPad. Or this part. Or that part, yeah. You want to call her? I want to type. Okay. Does it worry? You could email or email have her e or he's not email. I do have her email, honey. Can I email her instead? Sure. Let's see if I can find my phone. Here's my phone. You can text her. Come here. Do I just have to type? I don't know. Type to Kara. You're going to type to Kara? Okay. Alright. You push new message. You type Kara's name at the top. There you go. Now you type your message. And then when your message is done, you hit that button. Okay? If you read, where do I type? I don't know. Where are you going to type? I'll make a capital letter. There's an up arrow. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I did see that. That look that was really those have been fun little things. I think I don't want that anymore. 
So now I've got the banners for the, um, the pieces. I'm going to fussy cut my car here, I think. Here, oh, I'm going to care of the dog. I don't know. What are you writing her? Okay, mom, how is going to how will the dog communicate? I don't know. I cannot listen to it because I don't know every like a kid's it's not a kid's auction, Harrison. It's for the Isaac Foundation. Okay. Yeah, some kids will go to their grandmas. Some will stay with their dads, yeah. Oh, fun. All right. I'm going to tear the paint. You are. Did you ask her already? I'll be at Kara's thing to eat. Okay. I already pressed the, uh, the send button. button. Okay. Yeah. This is just doing her on Zoom. Oh. Really? All right. What? I did get birthday texts, Harrison. Who from? Lots of people. I already texted. Okay. Well, can I have that back then? Okay. There you go. If you already texted, can I have it back? Thanks. I think I already texted. Okay. <laughs> she cannot read it. <laughs> All right. So I really like the idea of this. No, I need to come up with some letters. Hmm. And I'm just now looking to see if I can find. Some letters that will work. Hmm. 
Oh, you know what I do have? I actually have Oh, there we go. Here they are. Some stickers. Uh, oh, look, there's one right there. Here's a pea. Ah, uh, yeah. There's an E. I'm going to leave this here. What is that? This one. Oh, did I not write a check? Oh. Okay, I have another one somewhere. Oh, really? Oh, D. An N. Even I. There's an L. There's an I. We need a D. Let's see. Oh, there's a cute little thing. There's a D. An E. An R. A B. And a Y. Ah. <sighs> There's an R. There's an N. There's a W. Yeah. That's kind of what I was working on. Ah, there we go. There's P. All right. That helped. What, Harrison? Thank you. 
Okay, hmm. that E is not doing it for me. Let's see. That's why you always have two sets of letters. You like the first W, okay? So you want an E and an O that are different. Let's see. There's an O. I need a different E. Yeah, I was looking for that. Can always make an E. Always make an E. I'm sure not going to use a J. So let's see. Hmm. How about a green W? I don't have a green W. You know that. I have an M. At least I don't know that I had a, 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 let me just see what I got in this one. Sometimes they're the same, sometimes they're different. Two complete alphabets. So I need a P. Not crazy about this one. There's this funky W. Let's see. See what the other P is like. Oh, it's a it's the plain one. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Probably. I'm sure that they would pop that way. But if I'm going to cut letters, um, if I'm going to cut letters, I might as well just run the cricket. This is my other one. 
the W and the O look like they're the same from here. Oh, yeah, these two. I don't know. You know what? I'm not liking those. Let's see what else we can come up with, because you know we have 12 zillion tons of things. Uh... I have lots of letters. I have these little black letters here that I could use. I have some letters from Authentic that I can put on my thing. I might want to do that. Yeah, that was kind of my thought. No, those are just too little. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I have pretty decent handwriting. I just don't know. I think I may just put put this as the end because our Pinewood Derby is until the end of the month. And so in if I leave it like this, then I get the photos on it. And then I can very easily... Um, kind of see what I need in other areas. And I'm going to just go ahead and leave my, um, if nothing else, I think I might. Kind of do the faux pull along. So they look like they're strung together opposed to just floating in space. Yeah, I like how they kind of um, definitely come into that. 
so you guys can see my little lines just so that it looks like there's string holding them together. So, hi Dawn, I'm at least not sneezing my head off tonight. So there is that, I really like how it kind of looks. And then once I get the photos on, if I need any more title and everything, um, I can definitely do that. But I really do like it. Um, if you guys keep a lookout at um, different places, I was able to nail this Cub Scout um, book from uh, Tuesday morning for $8. So, and, uh, and then I also have a, I have a second book, so, I think I'm going to use this one though, for right now. It's been dying to be opened. <laughs> yeah. Just need to start scrapping some of those pictures. Getting some things together. <laughs> yep. You are right. Definitely need to get the layouts done. It's not that I don't have the pictures. It's the layouts need to be done to get on them. So really nice flat layout um, and then I can do um, a building one this could be for race and that <laughs> so that's pretty exciting and then like I said my layout that I based everything off of is this Valentine's one that's really cute I want spring although I wish it would decide what it's doing <laughs> yeah, it's hard once you kind of work on a lot of um, different pieces and stuff. So I'm excited about that. So I'll get some kits together for it and that which I'm very excited about. Uh, the last Monday of this month, so there won't be a show on that Monday because I'll be going to Cub Scouts that night to see the wonderful um, Pinewood Derby. You know what? I think I'm going to like the idea that I did. What black layout? This is a pink and black and gray layout that I'm drawing on right now. I'm just adding the, the detail so that 
they look a little grounded. All right. All right. So again, this one turned out really cute too. And I really like the way that it kind of worked. And again, it's a flat layout. I'm going to grab my thingy here. Oh. I will. I will. Yay! Oop. Uh oh. All right. And you know what? I have another little technique y thing that I want to do. And since I have this cute Valentine paper, I think I'll play with it too. And that. So I'm not done. Oh, I have not, because what I did was kind of play with it a little bit. Not right at the minute, right at this minute. But that doesn't mean that I can't because I have a not, I have some of the paper and everything. All right. And this cute little card, and I think this is a great little thing for um, a, a Valentine. I just, I really... I like it. It's a cute little thing. Um, this is a picture of my grandpa in, in Harrison when he was little and everything. And um, I really, really like um, this little idea. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it because it is just too cute. And it, may, it whips up a cute little card or, you know, a little gift really, really fast. You need one 12 by 12 piece of paper. And, oh, what did I do with that paper? There it is. And some leftover paper. Yes, I can. I don't have much in it at this point in time um, in my Etsy. I just have a couple of the layouts. Um, I am in the process of trying to get the rest of stuff kind of up. Um, getting a week <laughs> of having the flu killed me. 
can you pop my blog up too? Because the um, sign up for the swap is on my blog. And I did get a question about where's the candy and the jelly beans and stuff. Yeah. And um, I um, decided I wanted to do the Tessie Musty Swap and put up the directions and all of that for it. But I also wanted it to be something fun and everything for everybody to do as well. So, um, you know, I figured between the Tussie Mussies going and, you know, little treats and stuff, it would be fun. And that, because I was like, you could make, you could make your flowers out of candy if you wanted. Yeah, it is my swap. It's on my um, on my Facebook, and it's also on my blog. It's the one that the ladies talked about last week. I finally got it kind of settled and everything. So I was pretty, you know, I got kind of some good things, good things going now that I'm feeling a little better. All right, so with this one, you need a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And the paper trimmer and we're going to go ahead and cut this in half at six inches me too and that i still get really tired really easy though let's make this paper 12 by 12 first but i did get the swap up so that was good and then we're going to cut this at six by six This is the Bee, Bee Mine Collection from o Echo Park. It's an older one. It's something I've had in my stash for a while. And then you're going to fold both of these in half. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and attach these together, making an accordion pull out. And I'm going to go ahead and use the big ATG gun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going ahead and fixing this into an accordion fold. And then what we've got is a four by four square here. You know what? I think I might put this guy in the front. I really like this um, hot air balloon. So this is five and three quarters, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and use this little piece for the front of my book. Make 
sure it's opening right. Um, Catherine uses score tape, but she also is using a brand of glue that Tony has in her new store. And so, Tony, do you want to, I don't know if the glue is up on your site yet or not. Is it up there? And then I think she's using like a perfect, um, perfect something. And I can't for the life of me remember what it is. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, perfect paper adhesive, PPA. Yes, that is a liquid um, that dries really nice. Um, oh goodness, what is the name of that? Scrappy tape. Scrappy tape. Yeah, or miracle tape. Okay, yeah, that's the glue. Yeah. head back over to my boyfriend's. Harrison took over the TV and I'm bored. Harrison stole the TV? Yeah. He hasn't stolen him, the right? TV in like forever. Yeah. But okay. Well, he decided he wanted the TV. All right. We'll see you by curfew. And I did fight him. You fought him for it? I lost. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking you did if you're having to leave. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, go, you little snood. You on your show still? Yeah. The ladies are still around. I did a two-page layout already. We're just playing now. I'm just kind of playing. Okay. So. Okay. 
Alrighty. Well, have fun. Okay. I'm waiting for him to check me back so I can come in small more up Oh. Uh, they were. My Valentine's shopping. Aww. He's just like, but you have to sit in the front of the car because you're not allowed in the back seat. I'm like, okay. Oh, good. Whatever. So I like you not being in the back seat. Less trouble you can get into. Rayan's on the car. I'm pretty sure there's no trouble. There would be trouble. Not with a baby in there. Never mind him why there's no trouble. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> that would do it. All right. All right. Now I'm just making a pocket here at the bottom of this piece. Uh, and then I've got these cute little journaling cards that can go in there. Okay. Now I need a little sentiment for in there. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right. I'm starting to kind of reach my limit too, I think. Don't want to overdo it and not feel good. Yeah. You're welcome. Good night. I'm just going to finish my little quote here. little pieces are really nice and then you can put a photo here and these little journaling cards and it's a nice little um, Valentine so but I'm about done Oh my gosh, guys, I'm sorry. I know I'm just kind of, I did the, um, the <laughs> scout layout, and this was really something just quick and cute to whip up and do, and that it turned out really cute. I will get some good photos up on both my blog and on Facebook, so you guys can see a close-up of the different pieces. But I think I'm done for the evening, ladies. I'm tired. And, um, <laughs> yeah, can I have the link before you go? Okay. Um, to Tony's. Yeah. Give me just a second. Let me find it. Oh. 
Oh. Here it is. Here is Tony's link. I will feel better, I'm sure. I just am at this point in time feeling like I undid. Oh, goodness. That I, I really need to take it easy. You're welcome, Dawn. All right, I'm going to say good night to all of you. You can find the information for my class and everything on my uh, blog, www.scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com, or um, send me a message on Facebook if you're wanting one of the kits for um, the uh, Pinewood Derby or Valentine's. Let me know, and I will try and get that together for you. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great week, you all. Good night.